Hi everyone, Edna Kimball, Edna Sells. Thank you for joining us today. And today we have Misha joining us. Am I saying it right? You are. Misha. Yes. You know, my family gives me such a hard time because I think originally, I don't know what I was calling you, but I don't think I was saying your name correctly. Well, you wouldn't be the only one. Okay, okay, you're used to it. <laughs> it's you're pretty common. Yeah. And is it TRA photography or TRA? It's for... TRA. Oh, okay, so you... <laughs> yes. She's like, ah! Oh. <laughs> it is. Uh, the right angle photography, TRA. Most okay. people just say Trey, TRA. Okay. And... I know who they're talking about. There so you it's go. Really it's not like, that it's big me, a deal. It's me. Yeah, okay. I know. And so you are the photographer, right? Thank in you. in our market. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we wanted to have you on today because you're just everywhere. I don't think I go to any event, any festivity or festival or nonprofit or whatever, and you're just you're everywhere. So how first off, are you from Tahlequah? I was born in Muskogee, lived there, moved here about 30 years ago okay. so it's been a while that i've been you're, here you're from yeah and you're from here <laughs> Tahlequah's funny Tahlequah really embraces local and if you're yeah. not local it can be hard to break to, in it can be so you are originally from muskogee mm -hmm. and about 30 years ago you moved to Tahlequah. yes about okay. 30 years ago i married and moved here but i have always grown up around the Tahlequah area okay. and the family had property on the river and I knew you so, were a river girl. I so, am. Yeah, yes. we actually own Hanging Rock, not the camp, not oh, the float okay. place. Okay, but we were mountain. all like, oh. <gasps> <laughs> the mountain and the property. Oh my god! And gosh. all that acreage there, both sides of the water. So, as a child, I would go up and oh. hang out at Hanging Rock, and we'd have our family picnics Amazing. there. And so I've always been in this area, but full time here, thirty years ago, working as a photographer, not at that point. Oh, you were so, okay. I so, wasn't. Okay. I was a. I owned a salon. I did not know that. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. I knew whenever that. I'm doing pictures, you know how I always. Oh make yeah, sure. She everybody's my perfect. Hair and yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's flashbacks from my salon days. Whenever I'm primping and taking care of people, making sure they look good. Yeah. So it's kind of an extension of that. That I I, I agree that with that because I'm. Um, yeah, definitely. I've had some photos where, you know, the, the hanging thing was yeah. out and no one told me. And I was like, I went through the whole photo shoot yeah. without that. Not that my never shoot. never happened with her. So <laughs> she's like, let me fix your hair. You need to do yeah. this. You need yeah. to do that. So well, I, it saves me time editing later on. But so I had my salon for 20 something. Here in Tahlequah? about yeah really actually it was about 13 years that is so and funny i did not know that photography yeah. was a hobby at that point so okay. it kind of took over and my accountant said that i was supporting my <laughs> hair habit with my photography business i needed to <laughs> that is to sell the salon so i did that is hilarious yeah. oh my gosh well that is see that's the thing i never know these little tidbits until yeah. i get people in here so yeah. Um, and you had mentioned family, mm -hmm. so you've got some kiddos. I do. Yeah. I have four. I ha my oldest is 31. His name's Rowdy, and then I've got two: a 20-year-old and an 18-year-old, which is uh, she's almost 19. That's Kodiak and Daisy, and the youngest is Sienna, and she's 16. Okay, I yeah. just knew about the youngers. I didn't know about the older ones. Yes. So I wow. love that. Well, in pictures, most people think he's. Uh, Much younger. Uh, well, no. <laughs> oh, is they think husband? he's my husband. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know your husband, so I wouldn't have done and that. Which he's but, not. Yes. yes, for sure. Oh my gosh! Well, I did not know four yeah. children. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so, and you actually were like big with the Tahlequah High School, right? Because some of the kiddos went there. They did. All my kids went to Tahlequah except the oldest. He went to Oktaha, and yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. he lives there still. Yeah. But, so, how did you? break into Tahlequah? I mean, as far as like the photography, because, you know, the way I started this was saying, I literally see you at everything. I right. mean, if if I have to put on a dress and heels, I know you're going to be there. <laughs> You're going to find With me the camera. Right. And, and, I, and, you know, one of the things that we really like to do by having people on is really 
stress the fact that you are supporting Tahlequah by, by giving back and being involved and, and most recently the Help in Crisis Masquerade Wasn't Ball. Wasn't that an oh, amazing event? My gosh. There are so many people with FOMO <laughs> right now. You guys missed out big time. Yeah. It was They're gonna do it again next year. Don't worry. You don't oh, have to miss out ever again. It was Attend. there was not there was not a place in the room that was not a perfect photo waiting to happen, right? True, or an Instagram true. moment or whatever. It was. So. so I had the salon and I sold the salon and went full-time photography. Okay. Um, that was actually the first year that they had, no, I'm wrong. A f the first year that they had the Hearts of Gold Gala, oh, I was okay. just like about five or six years full-time in working photography and they asked me to be the photographer for that event. Oh, wow. So I did. And I did it pro bono, and that's a big event. Oh, my gosh. But it was the first year, so I really didn't know what to expect. And I did that, and I fell in love with the events. I fell in love with the people. Yeah. I already knew I loved the people, but doing photography, you really just get to – it's a really – it's a one-on-one -on -one job. Yeah. Much like real estate. Oh, yeah. You get yeah. really close to your clients. <laughs> you grow, And for well, mine, you, it's through all stages of their it life. Is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, they get married. They have babies. Those kids graduate. Uh, they get married. Photos. Yeah. And it does. It's a full circle. It's so rewarding. So yeah. I got to meet so many people through doing the events like the Hearts of Gold Gala. Yeah. And, and the Hearts of Gold Gala is, is probably... One of the biggest events. I don't know. Masquerade Ball now. Help in Crisis is going to give them a run for their money. I'm telling you. Yeah, but that, it, yeah, yeah. The Hearts of Gold is um, the Tahlequah Hospital. It's, it's Tahlequah not Tahlequah Heart Hospital Foundation. anymore, but right. Yeah. Um, so it's their biggest annual event. It's yeah. their largest fundraiser. Very it's uh, Black Tie. The Heart Foundation. Yeah. yeah. Everybody the looking Heart good. Foundation goes to support, and I think yeah. they're. So how many yeah. years have you been doing that now? That, since the beginning, the, since the first one, I and I believe know. this is, the next one's going to be the 15th, the, maybe 16th. Oh, oh seriously? Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So you've been doing it for a minute. Yes. yes. Okay. And I was blessed to be asked to do the Help in Crisis event, yeah. and I am so glad they asked me because <laughs> that was Next level. It, was it really game was. Changer yeah, on they, they did amazing on she that. Did, yeah, so, um, and so I've met you actually through the photography also. Yeah. And when we first moved here, um, you know, I had kiddos in high school, and you did a family photo shoot for us. Yeah. And then those kiddos, it was their senior year, and you did both of their senior, senior pictures. Pic pictures. And then it. when we had our first grandbaby, mm -hmm. you know, so so I can see how it is very similar to what I do because mm -hmm. it's all stages, and you know, picking up the phone and calling, going, guess yeah. what we got now? So yeah. that's amazing. That is amazing. The rewards of the photography business are so much bigger than I ever dreamt they would be. Yeah. It is very time consuming. It's not a part-time job. It's really, if you can't give 100% to it, then it can be really stressful. Yeah. So I feel the same way yes. about real estate. <laughs> I can't same. imagine hiring someone who wasn't doing either of those full time. Yes. You know, these are, this is the one like, can you imagine getting your senior photos and they're not what you wanted? Or I hear about expected? it all the time. And, oh, I bet. Yeah. I bet. And sometimes I get those calls with real estate. People sure. are like, this went wrong. What do I do now? And I'm like, it's a little late now. But <laughs> yeah. I guess for photography, you could you still maybe jump photo. back in. Yeah. But that could be, you know, it's a, it's a timing thing too, right? It is. Yeah. 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 So um, you're involved in so many nonprofits as far as, you know, helping and being philanthropic. And I love that. And that's mm -hmm. one of the things we always like to promote. And, and I think that it does, it takes a village to keep the village moving forward. You know? Tahlequah is, whenever originally I was talking about, if you're not from Tahlequah, if you're not local, sometimes it'd be hard to get into the group yeah. or to be accepted. I never had that. Oh, that's wonderful. I was overwhelmed by the love that ever, and I even kind of get choked up from time yeah. to time thinking about it, but everybody in this whole town. And so 
because of that, I want to give back and I want to be able to share that and give back to the community that has helped my business grow. And the people in this town are just so loving. They really are. And we mm-hmm. hear that a lot, you yeah. know, that it's it's not about trying to break into it, but it's about just coming in and and wanting to be a part of it yes and that's how we're happy to accept you (laughs) so now are you doing the chamber banquet i don't that's the only event is that the only event you don't no i don't okay and i I have before let somebody else at least get one job okay (laughs) i want to play too so if you're working all of them and that's true when your husband says hey let's do this event let's go to this i'm like yeah i'm already gonna be there (laughs) too light he said i'll never see you oh gosh so so i like to have one that i can attend as a guest oh nice okay so i'll be putting on heels yeah but you will not be the one i won't wear the the camera okay (laughs) (laughs) you'll have your phone out i bet taking a few probably not no No. so when you're off you're just off i'm off okay well that's well my schedule is made by my clients yeah i cater to them and that's what i love i like to do that it's not because I feel like I'm pressured. That's that I get a joy out of oh, being yeah. able to accommodate clients whenever they may never think that they would have gotten in. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I love that. I love that. So now, I obviously I know graduates, family photos, um, newborns and babies, couples, headshots. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You've been doing my headshots do for a so hundred years. And yeah. I honestly, I. Yeah. And you know what's so funny is you always pick the headshot that I would never want to use. And then, and it's like, I see myself this way and you're like, no, use this one. And I'm uh-huh. like, ah. So I'll take them and send them to like my trusted people. And every time they you're right, it. every single time, really? I'm like, I, had, I didn't know that. Yeah. So you've got a really <laughs> great eye for that. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. It I does. mean, I guess it would make sense since you're a photographer. Yeah. Um, sports teams and clubs. Uh huh. I, I mean, like you did all of the cheer photos, I do, right? I do. I do. I'm so glad. And I love them. They're, yeah. they're once a year. So okay. it's not like I get to do a lot yeah. of the year having them. But once a year I get that. And those kids, let me tell you, they are fun. <laughs> They'll get out there. And I do not know cheer. I am not. I was never a cheerleader. I was never in sports. That was not me. I was the artsy girl yeah. and creative and oh, surprise. taught art. And <laughs> <laughs> I was teaching art at Hobby Lobby when I was 13. Oh, my goodness. In one of the little back rooms there when they had the craft and toll painting. Oh, I don't know if you remember no, that. I don't. Yeah, so. Because I'm not the crafty person, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> well, so I started that way crafty and then uh, moved in. But so when I ask these girls to do something, I do not know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and they know. They know it. They're like, we can do it. We can make it happen. I was like, okay, so what's this <laughs> one that goes like this? And they're like, oh, a firebird. I'm like, that's my favorite. Do that. <laughs> And so they just go with it and roll with the flow. And I feel like all my clients. So when I'm doing a shoot, I coach them the whole way. Okay. They don't have to know what to do. Even the palm team. I mean, I will envision what I want it to look like and I'll ask them to do it. And of course, I don't know what a move is called, but right. uh, mm-hmm. and they'll nail it. And so they don't have to wonder what to do. It's Sessions are really comfortable. Yeah, uh, it's we, I like what do you do with your hands? That giggling you that. a lot. I mean, yeah. when we do the family, we're just <laughs> we're just all laughing. Do you That's know what I mean? So yeah, it's it's very very comfortable. If you're not having sure. fun with a photo shoot, it's going to show in the pictures. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. I agree. I so agree. the cheerleaders and the palm team. I had done the palm team for the past six or seven years maybe. oh wow and then just recently in the past couple years i've done the cheerleaders okay which i love it it's yeah. so fun and they're completely different sports but they're not yeah it's well like i've photography seen them and videography and i feel like one of the things that you do really well is you use our our gorgeous green country scenery like even in the, they in built this town for a photographer oh my gosh it is amazing I and agree. whether it's family photos graduate photo i mean you took one of my daughter one of my favorite senior photos it was a broke down ugly the chair oh, no the chair. no yeah the chair okay. in the middle of a, a wheat field it looked like i mean overgrown <laughs> field and i was like 
Okay, and it was actually one of my favorites. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Oh. So you you definitely have an eye for utilizing all of the gorgeous scenery. Um, and the other day, I actually saw you on the side of you the did? road. Yeah, at that <laughs> that corner where the little hollow. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I took just, family photos with you there I took too. You there. Yeah, yeah. That it's spot fantastic. Is stunning. It just photographs really well, and then the colors really pop this time of year. In fact, I just. Yesterday was the last day of my fall family mini session. Oh. So that was for a week long, and there were six to eight people a day or families a day. Oh my so, gosh, wow. Yeah. So, do you do anything for the holidays coming up that we should give a shout out? What does sure. that look like? Um, well, I'm pretty spontaneous. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, how about this? We'll put your link below. That'd be great. And then people can go and check it out That's as great. you post. You and can. then, of course, you're on Facebook. And mm -hmm. I think that is, I absolutely love you sharing, you know, the sure. ones that people are comfortable with because it gives it gives you an idea of what you're going to get. Right. Does that make sense? Exactly. So yeah. So yeah. definitely follow her on Facebook, but we'll put the links below too so that they can do that. And then if somebody definitely wanted to reach out to you, mm -hmm. should they shoot you a text? Should they go through social media? What's text the best or way? social media is great. Okay. Either okay. is fine. We'll put your number down yeah. there too. Though. I will have a Christmas mini session. Um I, I, I don't want to commit to a date yet, but I have this really cute little old antique iron bed that I'm going to dress up with some Christmas oh, fun. Uh, bedding, and it'll be outside. So. Okay. One of my favorite things, too, that I saw you did a few years ago, we had an unexpected snowstorm. Oh, yes. And she was like, going, okay, guys, wow, we got snow. And I was like, what? I know. I mean, and then the, I was seeing the photos. And of course, I was just like, I can't believe I didn't book. That was amazing. Uh, so that yeah. was a lot of fun. You know, in Tahlequah, you don't really know if you're going to get snow. It's but very when you rare. do, yeah. you're going to have a photographer will have a waiting list for people <laughs> who want pictures. Oh, yeah. So I, never I thought of that. Yeah. yeah. My home and my studio i have a studio also and it's mm -hmm. not in my home it's separate but it's next door on the same property but the hill is really steep so if my car can get out i do it any snow okay. anytime we have snow i will go to town to try to make it where it's centrally located where people are able yeah. to get to you the don't main want roads. Them coming down that hill <laughs> well, no no not at your house many no. many delivery people have gotten stuck down there for oh, hours. Oh yeah. my gosh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, what else should somebody know as far as if they're wanting to get photography done? Obviously, you know, like what even do they, how do they know what to wear or what the theme is? Do you help them with that? Absolutely. Yeah. So depending on the session, if it's a newborn, then I give hints on making sure the baby doesn't have socks on or tight diapers so there's not wrinkles. If they have a look in their home, I just say, hey, shoot me a picture of your living room. Oh. And then I try to make sure that those images or the nursery for a baby or yeah. senior pictures or family pictures see where they're going to hang their images so that I can cater to their oh. style, their design. Some people are huggy kissy families and some are very formal and we've got urban feels to some families and nature to others. and. My clients trust me. Yeah, yeah. They will follow me anywhere. <laughs> They're like, I've the never, woods with you a few times. I never yeah. look at a ditch the same. <laughs> I love that. So, uh, yeah. so if they're not sure if they should wear plaid or blue or I purple, send, you're yes. going to give them some ideas and kind of yeah. help them pull it together if they want it. For sure. Yeah. For okay. sure. And I give do's and don'ts. And I'll send a plethora of options through text and say, here's what I recommend for this location at this time of year. Okay. Uh, and it's not limited. It's fairly fairly right. large variety so that they can accommodate their it's stressful enough for mom it is. trying to get everybody together it to is. look decent and dads are way more stressed than moms though on Seriously? family sessions. oh yeah oh okay i hadn't realized yeah. that i That's tell funny. some of them they need to bring a cooler with them <laughs> I just so. remember you telling us to sit down in the middle of the road and bend our legs like that, and my husband's legs would not bend like that. <laughs> so we had to like kind of rearrange, yes. you know. So yeah. I, and another similar experience, I was photographing my mom and my dad, and I, I had 
you know, we all think that you have this vision and they can bend this way or whatever, but my mother is severely handicapped with arthritis, with oh. rheumatoid arthritis, and she couldn't bend her neck that way. I was like, okay. <laughs> it just caught me off guard. So, And this yeah. was years ago, so okay. it was something like, okay, you're going to have to... Make an adjustment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and you yeah. did. It ended up actually being a cooler shot because of the way you put the grandbabies. Oh, yeah, you know? yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So it was really, really cool. <laughs> well, we appreciate you taking the time, you know, from everything that you've got going. Now, I do have to ask, though, do you do weddings? I did weddings for 18 years, and I, I'm also... I'm also an underwater photographer, and I do, uh, you know, great shots underwater and scuba. a lot of those. She's a scuba, yeah, diver. A scuba diver. <laughs> so I was out on a, a dive, a deep sea dive, and some with whale sharks, and we hit some waves just wrong. I had gone to the restroom, and the boat dropped, and so my back's hurt now. So I don't do weddings. Okay. But that's okay. really the only thing I don't do. I okay. just, if I can't give 100%, then I'm not even going to do it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So well, weddings I, are too much for me. I knew I've seen some stuff, but I, I, it wasn't on the list. So I thought, let's yeah. clarify that. So, okay. But if somebody was doing like just a small intimate, you're just talking you won't do the eight hour. A full day wedding. Shoot. I don't. Okay. Events right. that right. are six hours something like that that's okay. fine okay. small uh, i would say quick. don't rule her out call her and tell yeah. her what you're doing because if you've got Let's a talk. small intimate wedding she might still be your gal and i still do that yes i've still yeah. done several this year but okay. again they're not yeah not uh, not expensive. from early morning to to late at night yeah. so well I don't even know how you had time to come visit us today because you were literally everywhere, but we're so <laughs> glad that you did. Thank you. Um, one of the my favorite things is the fact that you do give so much back to the community by um, working with so many nonprofits. And then I, I have to tell a quick story on her. When she came in and sat down, she I said, we're moving some things, we're trying to get better. And she immediately said, do you mind if I share something with you? And she gave us some really great advice. And I just think the art, the artistic part, but she is such a giver. Um, she just is always wanting to give back. And I, I so appreciate that. And your advice was great. And we're going to put it implemented immediately. Right. So, so thank you for coming out and just keep making me look great in all these photos. <laughs> I will. I will. It's my passion. And, you know, if mm. I can make everyone love what they look like in an image, then man, that's a win. That's the win. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching everyone.